Today we are going to learn how to use inline view in an SQL statement in SQL PLS SQL. For this we will take three tables the first table is member master second table is withdraw deposit and the third table is loan SBR member master consists of member ID which is actually primary key of this table which is a unique ID for each member and the member name withdraw deposit table which is a transaction table it co consists of member ID which is actually reference to the table member master amount which is a transactional amount transaction date and transaction type the same way field will be in the loan SVR table also Transaction type is actually a field which determines what kind of transaction the member is making whether it is a withdraw transaction or a deposit transaction. In withdraw deposit table if a member deposits some amount on the bank then the transaction type is D and if he, if he withdraws some amount then the transaction type, will, type is W. In the loan as well table the same flag is used but here if the member takes some loan from the bank then the transaction type is L but here we will use the transaction type D when the member returns some loan amount return his loan amount to the bank so if the member deposits some amount on the bank or he returns some loan amount then transaction happens on the withdrawal deposit table and the loan is there table so we will collect all the deposit amount from withdrawal deposit and loan is fair table and fetch out name of those members whose total sum of deposit in a year is more than 2 lakhs so here is the SQL statement select TPL all dot member ID TPL all dot member name from now we will write the inline view the view from which we are extracting this member ID and member name it is a dynamic view and it in real does not exist on the database it is a runtime view so it is member ID member name and the amount of transaction We are joining the two table member master and withdraw deposit with alias A and B. The 
joining with the primary key member id now we will collect all the records of the year 2003-2013 so we are going to use to care function sorry uh, it's not between it's to care yeah it's equal to 2013 and as we know transaction type will be D so this is our first inline view now we'll just copy this inline view and union it just copy and paste and just change the table name as long as we are in, in place of with the deposit as we know other fields are same so when this union occurs on these two views we get all the records from with the deposit and loan is here in a single view so from this view we will extract member id and member name as you can see we give the name of this inline view as tbl all which we have used at the top of the script statement tbl all dot member id and tbl all dot member name how to use this amount field in the inline view to get the total amount greater than 2 lakhs I mean f records of all the members whose total amount is greater than 2 lakhs so we have to get the sum of amount which we will use on the outer SQL statement member ID member name but I will, we will not actually print the amount we will actually use the amount in the having clause so we have to use a group by statement because the amount total amount will be member wise so we will group it by tbl or member id and tbl or dot member name now we will use this amount field of the inline view and sum it up and use the having clause to get the get the amount greater than a sum of two lakhs. So this is how we can use the inline view to get amount from more than one table.